you know, when you're driving, it's pretty cool, but I, I don't know, it, it feels like you're experiencing the topography and the land much more viscerally when you're flying through it versus driving. Hi, my name is Jess Marion. I am a high school biology teacher and I am Lincoln's wife. Hey, my name is Lincoln Benedict. Uh, I am Jess's husband. Uh, I work in video production and the plane behind us, I can't believe it, but it's mine. It's a Glassdoor GS1. It's an experimental design, so it's a kit built. It was designed in the mid 90s uh, by a company called Stoddard Hamilton and built by Leo Leclerc from 1996 to 2005. I think that the glass star was sort of, it, it kind of had that 182 philosophy of like, it's not the best at kind of anything, but it's really good at a lot of things. And the biggest deal clincher was fitting the bikes in the back. Cause you know, we've been a lot of places, especially the old plane with so much cargo room. You know, we went to all these places and went for bike rides. Uh, and it sort of would have felt like having something removed if, we didn't have bikes because it means you can do so, you know, you can explore beyond the airport, which is so much of the fun of flying. I, I've come to really love it. Um, but when Lincoln first presented this idea, first of all, I was a little bit, I was a little bit surprised. Like you know, Lincoln already had a plane and I was thinking, okay, when does this end? How many more planes? But I really didn't know much about what experimental meant and the fact that somebody built it out of a hangar in Lewiston, Maine on his own from kit pieces really didn't do much to um, inspire confidence at the time. So it, it took a lot of convincing from Lincoln and I trust him and he does his research on things that he's passionate about. So I trusted him and I, I slowly came around. I was convinced that it was a good option. I was still a little bit nervous that I had to look out the window and read the words experimental every time. But um, now, I, now I think it's great and I think it was the right choice. There's something about being able to talk with the owner, the person who's put just blood, sweat and tears for nine years. Um, into it that's really special and I, I think had an unexperienced an unexpected benefit. You know, I, I live near him. He's willing to come over here and help me out. Um, so not everybody gets that, but I think the, strangely the most unexpected joy besides this is an amazing plane is that I have a friend who I really like and trust and have learned so much from. So I think that's an interesting part of experimental aviation that you just don't you know, you look at the big experimental sticker and you think, oh boy, somebody built this in the garage. But, you know, it, it depends on who it was, but a lot of people just put so much knowledge and work into this. And it's, it's really amazing getting to appreciate that more. There are plenty of times that we use the plane just for transportation to go visit family members or to just go sightseeing around Maine or something of that nature. But I think what we really enjoy is using the plane to get to places that are maybe a bit challenging to get to in a car and then using that as a jumping off point to go bike tour or go for a cool run or see the mountains and do things in a way that would not be an option as a day trip or maybe even getting somewhere that's logistically really challenging. I would describe myself as much more than an outdoor enthusiast. It's <laughs> part of like my blood. I like doing things outside and it covers all the bases from things outside that are really mellow and really fun to um, tests of my mental and physical <laughs> endurance. But it's just something that makes me tick and I like pursuing things outdoors. The more activities you do outside, the longer you get to spend outside enjoying it. And I really enjoy exploring. I have to do something different all the time. I just don't like routine. So the planes opened up a lot of exploring opportunities. I don't know, I've sort of said, it's like buying a ski pass or do, you know, like if you're gonna be in, you gotta be all in, so. It's a little different than buying a ski pass, but sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're gonna put the amount into, you know, into maintaining a plane and making it fly and like doing all this, you might as well enjoy and appreciate it and, and recognize those moments when they come about. 
<laughs> sometimes they feel a little few and far between, you know, when it's annual and okay, you found the cylinders down and oh boy, you need to replace, you know, it's just like every, you know the story. Um, but yeah, no, it, this, this plane is joyful.